Typically speaking, ear infections in kids are caused by two different things, either a viral infection like a cold that progresses to an ear infection or unhealthy bacterial growth. And it usually causes fluid buildup behind the ear and inflammation, which causes the pain. Kids are more prone to them for a few different reasons, one of which is that their little tubes, or the tubes in their ears are smaller, and also because there's easier access for bacteria because the actual length of space between the inside and outside is shorter. You mentioned that your little daughter has had 11 ear infections, and that's a ton, and it sounds like it's really good that she's going to be getting um, tubes in her ears and having surgery soon. There are a few things that you can do to help reduce the chances of your daughter or any other kids that you might have from getting recurring ear infections. If you breastfeed your kids for the first year, that actually reduces the risk. Um, if you or anyone in your home smokes, that can definitely increase your children's chances of getting ear infections, and so it would be best for your health and theirs to stop. Um, also, kids who are kept up to date on their vaccinations and get um, yearly flu shots have a lower risk of developing ear infections because they're less likely to have other infections that can then lead to an ear infection. Um, also, practice good hand hygiene. Yourself and your child, as she gets older, teach her how to properly wash her hands. This will help keep unhealthy bacterial growth away from her ears. If you're out and about and don't have a chance to wash your hands, use an alcohol-based hand sanitizer in place of soap and water. In spite of your best efforts, sometimes kids still get infections, and because your daughter has had repeat ear infections, it sounds like it's a good idea, a good thing that she's having surgery. But I'm sure that you're very nervous about this. Understandably so, being a parent, I can relate. And hopefully the things I'm going to tell you will help you um, so that you know a little bit more of what to expect. She'll go into the hospital and it's an outpatient surgery done same day, she goes home about one to two hours after the procedure. She's put under general anesthesia and the doctor will make a small incision in her eardrum and stick like a hollow looking tube through. And the reason why this helps is because it allows air to enter the middle ear. It allows fluid to drain from somewhere so it doesn't accumulate behind the middle ear and it prevents fluid accumulation in the future. So all these things help reduce pressure and help your little baby hear better. Your doctor will want to do follow-up visits to make sure that the tubes are in place and that things are going well. And they usually stay in place for about six to 12 months and fall out on their, on their own. As far as pain control after the surgery, um, she may not have much pain, but the doctor can give you recommendations like over-the-counter medications that will help her feel comfortable immediately after the surgery. Good luck with everything. I hope the procedure goes well and she's back to her normal happy self soon after. But if you have any more specific questions about it, be sure to talk to her doctor. Any other questions for me can be answered on our Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash intermountainmoms and recommend us to your friends and family too.